silicone. No silicone. No silicone. No silicone. Keeping it raw, keeping it real, 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 real. Welcome to another episode of No Silicone, Keeping It Raw, and Keeping It Real with your boy Phil and Hendrix. And today I'm joined by the troublesome menace to society, none other than Mr. I'm not as old as you think I look. Mr. I'm sexier than you think I am. Mr. I can take a girl from you and you're gonna get her back. Mr. <laughs> I'm all down on a bag of chips, but when you UK, so I say crisps. AKA Kev Combi. What are you saying, my guy? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm glad to be joining today. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Thanks for thanks for popping by. Yeah, I'm a bit late, but yeah, hey, it's all right, it's all right, man. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna do the whole you know stereotype thing, so we're gonna leave that for now. It's been constant as we work. Thank you very much for coming anyway, my guy. Um, how's life, bro? It's good. Yeah. Um, you know, I had a troublesome year last year. Okay. Um, we won't go into those details. Why not? Um, that's that's possibly for a later episode. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah. Life's good. It's amazing right now. Um, yeah, bro. There's a lot going on right now, which um, I think your your input, your take, and your opinion, you know, will be very, very valuable to have. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, the socials are going a bit nuts. Yeah. Um. um yeah. So obviously, uh, I think the, there's a there's a more overarching theme here. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we saw what transcended on like, social media, what transcended on like, social media. I don't think it's obvious. Let's, let me break it down for those folk <laughs> that don't know what we're referring to right now. An exposure, an exposure took place whereby a young lady by the name of she fire. She exposed some guy sliding into her DMs. She showed the DMs on Twitter. Basically, that guy was seeing someone. And allegedly, he slid in her DMs when he had a girl. And now the whole internet's going nuts about it. Black Twitter specifically. About, oh, nah, you shouldn't do that to a woman. You're embarrassing the girl. And then the guy's coming and saying that, oh, by the way, I was sliding in for business purposes. Yeah. Bro, what well, are your thoughts? So, to be I'm quite, I'm, um, I'm very close to the girl herself. Yeah. Um, but the, let's let's look at the facts. Okay. The facts being, the, he, he didn't slide the DM for business purposes. You don't, you don't believe that? No, I don't believe that. We saw there's about twenty other girls that came forward, and you know, like, um, and none of them were here. They talked about no business, any of them, you know. No, none of them. I saw numbers. I saw them asking about obviously sex position and all that. Nah, what? Man, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, you know what? Yeah, I'm a gentleman. I, you know, for another man under the bus like that, isn't it? so like. My issue with this in it isn't mm. with what he'd done. Okay, it's wrong what he'd done, mm. but I can't be coming out from like a bitch boy and mm. you know saying certain things, is it, you know. But my issue with that is, what did he expect to happen when he slides into that many girls' DMs, mm. you know, and then tweets about his girl on mm. Valentine's Day? Mm. Like, mm. you know, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna, you know, you're gonna play the game, play mm. the game smart. Play it right. Yeah. So there, there's that aspect of it. Also, the overarching um, theme there is really relationship and how social media affects relationship now. Right, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a big one, that's a big one, because in a different world, um, I guess in the world, without, so the world without social media, like, the likelihood of this guy getting quote-unquote caught out is slim to none. You feel me? Because he wouldn't be sliding to DMs, per se, I, I, who knows how he'd be going in there, but... Has social media created this thing whereby trying to have a relationship and even trying to have a side chick is is, is a non factor. There's no way that will work. What are your thoughts? You think I think the the main thing that people actually people think nowadays is that social media has made it easier to cheat or mm. cheating is more common because of social media and mm. to look at why that is. Mm. Um, I think that's a more overarching theme. Mm. In my opinion, right, social media has made it easier to cheat. Okay. Okay, like right. let's say let's look at the let's look at your um, let's look at a typical guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, like right. it's not hard to have a half decent following that way. So let's say you got three platforms: mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. None mm -hmm. of them are specifically made for dating, like Tinder, for example. Right, let's yeah. look at those three. Yeah, they're just um, social interaction apps. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at it, say, say a guy's got, let's say, 3,000 followers uh -huh. yeah, on Instagram, then let's say 1,000 on Twitter, and uh -huh. he's got 500 on, all, on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even, I don't, I've lost track of the numbers I was saying. But, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's about, about 4,500. It's got a decent number of followers. Yeah, yeah, about 4,500. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say 40, 50% are women. Right, okay? yeah, yeah. So now we're looking around, you know, 2,000 and a bit. 
Yeah. Now, how many of them are accessible to him? Let's say 20%. Define accessible though. Accessible means that, you know, that they're possibly single, okay. they're attractive, attracted to him. Okay. Let's face it, most of the time, girls don't really follow guys that they're not attracted to oh. off the back, unless they're just doing something like, you know, as a comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, good point, good point. yeah, so let's say, so in that factor, I'm factoring that they're into him, mm -hmm. they're single, mm -hmm. or they're willing to cheat, mm -hmm. whichever some mm -hmm. girls are, mm -hmm. and that accessible means then a decent proximity. You know? right. Obviously, okay. some guys are willing to travel from from South London to Scotland. A, a, lot, a lot of guys are. Yeah, exactly. Actually, <laughs> quick, quick one before we move on. What's the furthest you've travelled from? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I've, I've, I've travelled, I've travelled, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna say specific locations, because it might, it, it might um, yeah. become a bit too obvious. Yeah, wait, who in your, okay, cool, interesting. Yeah. You've travelled, but, but yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know what, in my, in my younger days, I've travelled. I'd say nowadays, I won't travel, man. I had a girl travel from Scotland once. Yeah. Not even once, three times to come see me. Yeah. And I actually did it by coach. But I had a full day, yeah. I woke up, had a full day by the time she got down to here. You know, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so did she stay? Did she get her money worth? Um, she she stayed for the day, you know, she, she yeah, got herself okay. a hotel, this and that. You know, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. She was organized, she was ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was ready. Um, okay, fine. So. This is years back, by the way, I've got a yeah, okay. okay. We're not, we're not attaching anything yeah. to, to but, um, nice. anyway. Yeah, yeah so, so this guy has like a bunch of women accessible to him, almost half of the ones that he's following. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say, yeah, so let's say he's, he's got about 250 girls. Mm -hmm. that, that's presented 250 girls now he can now potentially sleep with. It might not be all in, in one goal, yeah. but throughout, let's say, two, three years, four years, all that, yeah. he can start hitting them up one by one. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's, in that sense, it's made it easier. Okay. And the thing is, the reason why as well social media's made it easier, in my belief, is that now, when people follow you, or when you follow someone on social media, mm -hmm. because you see so much of them, you feel like you know them. So right, sleeping, that familiarity yeah. Concept, yeah. So sleeping with them and all that doesn't become um, so much as I'm sleeping with a stranger. Right, so right. It's like right. See if when you meet someone in the club. So right, so you, you see like, what I mean? Compared to our parents' generation and generations yeah. before, they had to go out, you get to know them yeah, much exactly. better in real life. Exactly. Stuff. And courtship, you had to go through the courtship process and all that, and because of that. You know, it, it was. I think it's. It was much harder back in the days to cheat um, than it is right now. Right now, I believe it's much easier to cheat because of that. Um, because half the half the calling is almost done by your social media profile. They see you. They're familiar with you. They think they know you. So sleeping together makes it less of a um, how does it promiscuous affair or scene that way. Anyway, so it makes um, cheating a little bit. Well, much easier than it was. But this is the thing, right? Of course, it makes cheating easier because you, you increase access, right? Yeah. But, but then, there's also the flip side, the double-edged sword, right? The increased access also means in increased chances of being exposed, like the situation now, right? Yeah. I think that's true that it's easier to be caught cheating as well, yeah. in a sense. But at the same time, right, I think it's different now because back in the day, I feel like people used to turn a blind eye to cheating because it used to be between mm. you and them. Right, 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 right. Less people knew about it. Right, right. right. Um, because I feel like they probably were still getting caught, mm -hmm. but because um, because no one found out, between you and them, it's less embarrassing of an experience. Yeah, right, right. So, so you could, this whole thing about the shame, right? The yeah. shame of cheating was was more, I guess, controlled and more. What's what's the word? Like, I guess, kept in in a safe space. Yeah, you feel me? And I think the whole thing about cheating is about. It's a shame, isn't it? Because for everyone right now, like this specific one we're talking about, they're talking about, oh, you embarrassed the girl. Yeah. It's public shame. Exactly. And he's still getting sympathy. Right. You know? Right. Uh, whether we agree with it or not, that's how it is. And to be fair, a lot of women, they won't, they won't admit to it, they won't like to admit to it publicly, mm -hmm. but a lot of women, they'll get cheated on and they will they will try to forgive or they will forgive. Yeah, that's almost. Right. It's almost become, right or wrong, it's become normal for a man to go and cheat, yeah. you know, because sex has become so accessible. Right, right, and, right. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's interesting because I think culturally, right, I know like a lot of African cultures, they'll have the husbands and the partners cheating, right? Yeah. Um, but it's well, like, as long as you don't let me find out, or as long as the, 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 the township doesn't know about it, then, yeah, I mean, fine. As yeah. long as you respect me in that sense. It's, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting one. Okay, we're going to have to um, 
put this on the side for now, pin this for now. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna come back to this conversation on your next um your next drop in. Of course. Yeah, you know I mean it should get a little bit more enticing, you know what I mean? But Kel, okay, thanks for your insight for now, my guy. No problem. You know what I mean? We'll be back. We'll be back, man. No silicone, Kev Combi, keeping it raw and keeping it real. Yes, sir. <laughs> No silicone. No silicone. No silicone. Okay. Keeping it raw, keeping it real, real, real.